Hello everyone. So today we are going to create a subsystem to handle saving and loading user settings that are not supported by default. For, ex for example, we can use this uh, game user settings to save and load uh, graphics related stuff mostly. Uh, but for things like this uh, audio sliders or volume levels uh, i couldn't find a default way of doing that so i might have to use a save game system but uh, the thing is where should we implement this save feature for these configurations for this setting so earlier i have done this using this uh, game instance but i don't think that's a better that's a good way to do that because if you are trying to use this plugin this menu plugin in a, in your own project and you might already have a different game instance card class so you might have to do some refactoring copy some functions that you have that, that you need to support the menu system save load stuff so that's uh, becomes a bit uh, inconvenient so the best way to uh, implement those things is using a subsystem so in this case we are planning to use one of these game instance subsystems to handle saving and loading user settings so that we don't have to worry about inst instantiating this uh, subsystem because it's a game instance subsystem and it will be automatically instantiated for you so you can just call it from anywhere for example here as you can see you can get this subsystem like this ppclm user setting subsystem so we are going to create this i'm going to show you how to create this uh, but this is what you are going to get at the end and within that within the subsystem you will be able to create functions like this so here i am implementing the function in blueprints but initially you will have to create the base class of the subsystem with c plus plus then you can override it and create a child blueprint class so i will explain all those things in this tutorial so not just for this project you will be able to use this same method creating subsystem in any other areas as well when you want to uh, have uh, such features in your project so not just for menu all right so before we get started i may remind you that you can download the project file of this project and all of the thousands of projects i had on in my channel from the patreon page once you become a member you will be able to access everything without any limits so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description below and here is the full playlist of this menu system series i'll leave the link to that also in, in description everything is implemented and explained from scratch you can follow these episodes and implement everything by yourself all right now let's get back to today's episode all right so the first step is here now we can't directly create a subsystem with blueprints here if you just try to create a new blueprint class and under all classes sub system you don't really see any options see we don't get anything so we have to create subsystems using c plus plus at least the base class now here if i go to all class type subsystem you see multiple options dynamic subsystems these are all the subsystems that's already exist in the uh, editor or if you have any plugins they will also show up here so here you can see that mainly there are four types of subsystems this uh, engine subsystem editor subsystem game instance subsystem and your local player subsystem local player subsystem so for our settings to store our settings 
uh, I'm thinking of using a game instance subsystem because the life cycle of the game instance is uh, actually it will persist between levels so it's not you don't have to load and have a loaded level to access the game instance subsystem uh, even if you switch between levels you will have changes there so therefore I am thinking of using your game instance subsystem right so yeah okay no. game instance subsystem let me click that and I'll make sure to select my plugin, Common UI Manager System plugin, as the module. I'll call it C LM User Settings Subsystem and create. Okay, project now includes sources. Please close the editor and build from your IDE. All right, so let's. Let me close my editor and here is the project. Right now here I'll set this as the startup project. I don't think I can set this one. This is the engine and I don't have any C++ modules in my base project. This is the plugin. So that's the only thing that shows up here and press play. Uh, not play actually this is build and run but yeah i knew it looks like a play button all right so it's build complete and it's the here here is the project so if i just go to any blueprint now i should be able to get the LM user C user settings subsystem. So since I don't have any functions here, I can't actually use it. I mean, th there are already some default functions, but yeah, this is how we access. Now we don't need to instantiate or don't need to think of the life cycle of this because this is a game instance subsystem. So this will be automatically instantiated for us. And but the here the problem is since this is in C++ actually not a problem but to make things easier I wish to make a subclass from this in blueprints but if I now go here if I try to create a subclass uh, CLM see it is still not happy yet. That's because here we need to define it as a blueprintable class. So for that, we need to add these two keywords. Now add them and build and run again. I can't build and run while my engine is running. Let me close the engine. And build and run. All right, now it's compiled. Uh, now I should be able to create a child from this. CLM, yeah, see, now it's available. CLM user setting subsystem. So I'll call it PPCLM user settings subsystem. Okay. Now, in the same way, I should be able to access this as well from Blueprints. Uh, let me check this quickly. So I first thing I want to implement using the subsystem is this uh, is a way to save and load these volume settings. So, so here, maybe for the Apple I function, we can yeah 
I don't think I already have a play function. Let's check the parent. Ah, we do. Okay. Yeah, we have apply. All right. So get ppcln user setting subsystem. Now here, if I have something like save audio settings uh, to save and also load audio settings to load previously saved audio settings, that would be useful. So I'm not going to implement the actual function here, but let's just create just the function without the implementation so that you get the idea. This function save audio settings. We might need some input, but that's okay. I'll just create the function. Now save audio settings. So we can call it now. All right. So this is how you can use subsystems, how to create a subsystem with C and how to now extend it with blueprints so that you can just use it here so you can access this menu system features that require c++ but without having to use a certain game instance that you might otherwise implement saving and loading and stuff so using a subsystem it's more clear way to do that so it's easier to reuse this plugin across different projects but uh, in the next video, let's look into how to actually uh, actually implement this audio, save audio settings within the subsystem using blueprints. So thanks for watching. As always, updated related files will be available for download here in the veteran page. Link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.